We've seen the world come together to find a vaccine for COVID. The last time we saw such a global effort was the challenge to treat HIV AIDS. That effort has paid off. Today, patients can live a normal life, but as patient Tiffany Quinton and Dr. Hardwick with UT Physicians explain, transparency with your doctor is key to a successful treatment plan. Today, we hear a lot of people interchange HIV AIDS for the same thing. Are they really the same thing? No, they're really not the same thing. And it's very interesting that you even bring that up because a lot of people have forgotten that. So HIV is the virus that actually causes AIDS. Those letters seem to, to bring more of a stigma today than, than HIV does. But like I said, HIV is a virus. It does cause AIDS. AIDS just means you're much more advanced in the disease. It doesn't mean that you can't turn it around. Mm -hmm. uh, so there is a difference. Yeah, all right. It used to be a death sentence. I held plenty of friends' hands through that. Uh, today, you can go to undetectable, but that doesn't mean it's necessarily a cure. You can just that live a normal true. lifespan. Correct. So um, you can go to undetectable and that's where we want you to be because undetectable means that we have the virus so suppressed that we're not able to pick up levels of it with our, our routine lab test. Undetectable today also, and this blows my mind, but undetectable can also mean untransmittable. So if you are able to get that virus suppressed, then you are very much less likely to transmit that virus onto someone else. If we're not able to transmit virus from person to person to person, then ultimately, um, we could end up getting a cure in itself just by preventing transmission. Yeah, Tiffany, when you were diagnosed in the mid 90s, you did not fit what was still a stereotype. And that stereotype was gay men, but we certainly know around the world, there really was no stereotype. Is anybody who was sexually active and of course some other ways that people may have uh, gotten AIDS, sharing needles, things like that. Deborah, I had no symptoms. I had just come off of maternity leave and I was back at work and I got a phone call from the health department saying that I needed to be treated for STD and I knew I was okay because I had just delivered my baby and went in and got tested and lo and behold that wasn't the case. I go back after Labor Day to get my results and the lady had never given positive results. They gave me my results, told me I was getting ready to die. So Dr. Harwick, that speaks to the importance of getting STD testing um, and not, not when you have symptoms, but just routinely getting testing. Many people think that HIV screening is part of their general health maintenance routine. They go in for a physical and they're making the assumption that they're being tested. The CDC actually says that we as healthcare providers need to test everyone that comes in between the ages of 13 and 64 at least one time. A man that has sex with men, the guidelines suggest that we test annually. Um, Hardwick has her own rule. If you are changing sex partners frequently, if you're having multiple sex partners through the course of the year, if you have had a new sex partner since the last time you got tested, then the Hardwick rule is get tested again. Yeah, and of course the hard part is, uh, can you trust the partner you're with? Okay, um, so with that said, um, Tiffany, I know you say that you are not a survivor, you're an overcomer. How do you distinguish the difference? The survivor, you just, you just surviving and you're just doing the bare minimum. I have just, like I said, an overcomer because I'm a caregiver for my mother. I take care of myself, I take care of my house. Yes, people can live a normal life as Tiffany has proven, but it takes some diligence on your part. Nothing's easy, no medical disease or manifestation is easy. Tiffany will tell you, I've, I've had to crack the whip a few times. You have to take your medicine every single day. If you miss doses of your medicine, it can develop 
new mutations and develop resistance. So the medicine that you think is simple one pill once a day with limited side effects may stop working for you. The earlier you detect it, the earlier you get into treatment, the better the outcome can be. And at UT Physicians, the nice thing is that you as a doctor have all kinds of other professionals to call upon. You can meet oh. together and come up with the best treatment for the patient. Absolutely. Thank you very much. And Tiffany, Thank you just changed the song from I'm a survivor to I'm an overcomer. I'm going to make it. <laughs> Way to go, Tiffany. Thanks. <laughs> Tiffany is working to help others who have been diagnosed with HIV AIDS and who are in need of emotional support. Her church, Wheeler Avenue Baptist Church, hosts a confidential meeting every second Saturday of the month at 1.30 p.m. For more information on UT Physicians and to book an appointment, call 888-4-UT-DOCS. That works out to be 888 488-3627 or visit utphysicians.com.